In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the new tree generator in, inside of 3D Code. We'll begin by jumping into the Voxels workspace and picking the empty grid option. Now, as you scroll down your tools, you'll find a new, under the objects, you'll find a new tree generator uh, tool available. Now, this is a fairly new tool, so if you don't see it in your version, you may need to upgrade to a more recent version. I believe uh, from version like in the mid 30s on up, you should have it. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and click that? And right away, nothing happens in your scene. And that's because you need to look under the tool options, and that's where you're going to see the create new tree. So let's go ahead and click that. And there's our tree. Now it's pretty complex already, and it comes with a root system. Usually the first thing I do is I just turn off the root system for now, just to keep things a little bit lighter weight and more manageable. You can do that by under the tool options, you'll see that there's a make roots checkbox. If you uncheck that, your roots go away. Now everything you're doing in this checkbox is actually being applied live to your tree in the scene. So nothing has been committed yet. And if you find that the structure is already too complex and heavy for your liking, you can start to dial down the complexity, which is the very first option here. Just bring that down under 100% and you'll get something more simplified. You can even go further and you'll get something really, really simple. But to your liking, whatever you're looking for, um, let's go ahead and increase that just a bit for us. All right, so now we've got this. And if you ever want to change um, or play around with different seeds for the structure, uh, you can by just either entering a number manually, like so, or clicking this little box icon just to the right, which is a random seed generator. Okay, let's go ahead and stick with this. Okay, let's walk, our, let's walk our way down these options. So the next one is this vertical growth strength. I typically think of this as tropism. The higher that strength is, the more everything is getting pulled upward. So it, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and enter a value of 300%, for example, to really see it. And you'll see that everything starts to kind of point toward uh, the uh, up vector. And if you bring that to a lower value, let's say 30%, things start to start to lean downwards. And you don't have to stop at a value of zero. You can go, for example, minus 30, and you'll see that it will extend further. And everything is now starting to try to bend toward the ground. OK, so. So we'll go ahead and set that back to, I believe, zero. Or was that 100%? Let's see. Oops. Yeah, I think it was 100%. OK. Um, you do have the option to increase the number of main trunks that your tree has. Right now, it comes in with a main trunk of one. And we'll just leave it at that for now. Um, and we'll play with adding more a little later on. Main trunk curvature, think of this as like a warble effect that you might have. Um, it's, it's how the trunk starts to twist and bend and becomes a little bit more gnarly. Um, let's go ahead and put a value in here. So we have our curvature right now is set at 100. So we'll go ahead and make the curvature 500. And really what's happening is that main trunk is just kind of folding about and it's, and it's getting really twisted. But the other branches that are growing off of it are still fairly normal. It's just the main trunk is getting really, really gnarled up. This is great that it's separated between the main trunk and the branches because you have that same uh, you, you have that same effect on the branch level. As we go further down this list, we'll start to look at those. 
Okay, next one is the branch level. Branch level is uh, basically where the branches start to grow on the main trunk. So right now, uh, the branch level is at zero, so that means that the branches are really growing from the lowest point. And if we increase that, so let's go ahead and we'll just start dialing this up. And you start to see that the, now the branches are growing higher up. And we can go further and further. So that's how you control where the branches start. Um, then we have the proportions or, yeah, proportions main. Basically, it's the length of the main trunk in comparison to the other branches. So if I increase this to three times its length, that main tree trunk has gone three times its regular growth. But the growth of the branches remain the same. This is actually really great if you're making things like pine trees and uh, you know things like that that have that really long trunk and then you want to grow, grow a bunch of branches um, similar to what we're seeing here off of that. All right, so let's go ahead and bring that down. Okay, cool. All right, we're back. Branch length. All right, so branch length, similar to the main tree trunk, it's it's how long the branches are are in comparison. So we can make those long branches or short branches. So you can make them stubby. You can bring them down like that. So that's how you control the branch length. Get that back to 100. And then branch thickness. And this, I believe, if you hover over it, it'll tell you, but it's in comparison to the parent branch. So every time a branch grows off a parent, it becomes some ratio thinner uh, than the branch that it's growing from. So right now, it's 75% thickness in comparison to the um, main branch. So if we make this even smaller, we'll have smaller branches. And this, this does include the main branches growing off of the, the trunk as well. So this is branches or branches. So they all kind of all fall into this. There you go, 75. All right, so um, and branch curvature, this is that gnarly or gnarled effect or warble effect, depending on what uh, tree authoring package you're using, they have different um, terms for that. But if I were to take these branches under the curvature and push them to 300%, you'll start to see some really like twisted and just knotted up branches. So that's what this curvature is doing. It's like, how old is this tree? You know, that kind of a thing. Um, so let's we'll go ahead and put that back to 100%. And now we're back. And then we have this start angle and end angle. And then the minimum radius is really like how thin the branches get. And you don't want to go too thin because it causes problems, especially if you're, because this is all being done through voxels, um, you'll start to get uh, really like crude or even broken voxels at the very tips. So make sure you keep enough thickness by default. It's 0.9. That seems to be working pretty well. And then when you're all good with that, so let's say this is the tree that we want. Um, it, ha it hasn't been created yet. You actually have to say generate tree. And now you'll see here that under your layer, it's changed that to trunk. And now that is actually a new tree. We can create a new tree now. If I click create new tree. Okay, now I've got this tree, but you don't see it because it's right on. It's exactly the same tree based on all the parameters that you have here. But if you want to move that tree, just click this transform. And then you can actually position and move this tree. And maybe just click this randomized seed 
and then you'll have a new tree based off the same family for the most part of what you've already created it just has a little bit different look to it and if you're happy with that then you would just go ahead and generate tree so if i generate tree now it's solidified it now it's in my scene i've got a tree here i've got a tree here what's kind of nice about these having these trees or this tree generator is that um, what i find is cool is i can create a new um i can create a new folder call it tree trunks and now i can grab this the trees that i want like i'll grab this tree and just drag that in here and maybe I don't need to have this level of um, resolution. 50% might be fine, so I'll just say OK. I'll reduce it. And now I have that tree. And I'll just do the same with this tree. Which tree did I grab? OK. So now I'll do the same with this tree. I'll drag it in. And yes, 50% is fine. And now I have this tree. So now I can, uh, I can actually create something for example, um, let's start a new scene. Go back in voxels. And I'll create a sphere. And now what you can do is you can go into the import tool and choose on brush and pick a tree. I'll pick this tree. So now that tree is actually on my brush, change its scale, and I will change its height. When, it's, when you use this on brush option, um, you basically, you're painting with this object. It's almost like the kit bashing, in a kit bashing sense. Um, and then if you right click and move up and down, it actually changes the offset of the uh, tree so you can so if you're doing things like rocks and things, you can bury them in the dirt. Okay, so now uh, I might want to change some of these uh, values. For trees, I probably just want to change the um, jitter on the Y. And then that way it's always rotating. And then you can now just start clicking and dropping. And now I've got a forest of trees on the sphere. Now, of course, you're going to want to res up your, um, your voxel. So I, I'll go ahead and increase the density on that. OK. And now when I go to put it in, I should have more resolution. And there you go. Well, there's a first look at using the, uh, tree, the tree generator inside of 3D Code. All right, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have fun with it.